Hello everyone, this is Kelly Mar here. Just doing a quick update video. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Um, I've not scripted this particular video. I just wanted to sort of get on the mic and just have a talk. So I'm very well aware that my channel is known for the Yandere Simulator redesigns, which is great. I'm really happy that my work is getting out there, that people appreciate my art and my storytelling. But the thing is also that it's <laughs> associated with Yandere Simulator and therefore Yandere Def, which are two things, two, a thing and a person. <laughs> that I actually don't really like and I don't really feel like I want to be associated with that. I've never seen myself as sort of being um, a Bijou Mike or Cub Scouts kind of YouTuber where I'm known for Yandere Simulator. That was kind of my conflict these days is that I don't know if it's in my own interest to keep doing the redesigns because I'm piggybacking off of this thing that I pointedly dislike and I've also obviously gotten lots of comments of people being like oh if you hate it so much why do you keep making videos about it you're just profiting off of it for views which is bittersweet for me I kinda wanna be seen for my own art and my own stories so i had to think about that and if you guys are subscribed to me you would have seen me sort of post a poll about it just asking hey what do you think uh i should do or like what what is it that you're actually expecting out of me as a content creator and a majority of you wanted me to finish the redesigns uh, but also a lot of the comments were saying that it's not really because of the Yandere Simulator thing specifically that you subscribed to me for. You really enjoyed my storytelling and my reimaginings of characters. And I thought that was really sweet and I really appreciate that. So I had some time to just sort of think about what I wanted to do. Recently I've started becoming more anxious that the videos I post won't do as well despite, you know, the amount of effort I put into it. Not that it should really matter because I do enjoy putting my stuff out there anyway and most importantly, I do just want to be proud of the content I make which is exactly why I'm so conflicted about the Yansim content because I don't like Yansim so I'm not proud that I'm shilling off of this thing I don't even like anymore but uh, just before you guys click off and before you're like oh no I guess I, I gotta unsubscribe now I told myself this at the beginning when I started doing the Yansim redesigns is that I want to see the project through you know I want to redesign all the rivals complete the series and I think it would be awkward for me to just leave it off and sort of just stop at Amai. Originally I wanted to sort of do the redesign videos as the new rivals came out but I think it's pretty clear <laughs> that that's not gonna happen. I don't know. I've spoken to Cameron who is Jan Deridev's PR guy and he was like oh Yandere Dev has big things planned, um, it might change people's perspectives completely and like salvage everything and I'm like, uh, cool, good for you. I don't really care though, because that's, <laughs> I don't, I'm not invested in Yandere Simulator, I haven't like donated any money, I tried playing it one time and it broke my computer, so... <laughs> I've never touched it again and I don't I don't really care where it goes what I do care about is where my channel goes so 
with that being said, I'm just, I'm still going to go ahead and complete the rival redesigns just because I do want to complete it. Like I want to finish what I started and I feel like it's sort of what everyone is also waiting on. And I, I know how that feels to like be really invested in a series and then it it doesn't get updated anymore or it doesn't get completed and you're like really sad and i don't want to do that to you guys so i will be completing the yandere simulator redesigns i think my point of contention was that it feels like i'm obsessing over yandere simulator and people have said that i'm obsessing over it which i'm not i'm just trying to see something i started through uh which is its own I don't know, I, I think too much and I, I worry too much sometimes as well. So I'm, I'm trying to find a way to justify it for myself into feeling like it's something original that people can like. <laughs> I've seen a lot of comments saying like, oh, this is so good, it should, there are their own characters, but I still felt like well, no, I'm basing it off of this. I don't know if I can qualify them as my own characters. And I never intended, like, I never planned or wanted for this to be more than just a bunch of criticism pieces on a game that I used to like once. So, yeah, that was where most of my conflict was coming from. However, I just had to think about it and... I was reading you guys' comment and uh, you guys are actually like really right. Like why don't you make it your own thing then? Like why not separate it from Yandere Simulator? Like why not make your own thing? Like obviously I'm not gonna be making a game because I know that if I did that, then uh, our boy Yandere Dev's gonna come after my ass and so are all his cronies and I don't want to do that I just want to make a story okay a separate story and I will actually be renaming all the characters as well I want to create more of a unique storyline from the current Yandere Simulator storyline I do already have something like that in my redesign videos but I'm gonna be cracking down a bit more Recently, I've just, I've been really just following the game's format because the idea was that, oh, this is what I would do if I were making the game. But I don't want to do that anymore. I want to, you know, expand on my own terms. So it's like, fuck it. I will make it my own thing. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna make like a comic of it because I already do have a comic I'm working on that hasn't been updated in uh, almost a year now that I do I severely <laughs> need to update so I don't know if that's a commitment I want to make right now but I can say that um, I'm able to do that with my YouTube channel just make sh maybe sh shorter story based videos based off of the characters um, maybe do a little recap of the story so far for any of you who haven't caught up yet and most of all i will just be thinking of names i've already sort of made one for yandere chan anyway i might replace the names of all the other characters as well i've already said that this is what happens when i don't have a script uh if you guys want to leave some name suggestions definitely do that in the comments and explain why that you chose that particular name because i'm looking for options uh i've already got a name in mind for senpai so i'm not necessarily looking for a name for him uh i've decided to go with seiya for him because i feel like every character named seiya is always the best so <laughs> i'm biased I like Seiya, haven't quite thought of a surname yet. I'll think of a surname or if you guys want to recommend a surname that is pretty common in Japan or something unique 
that would be cool. But I think where I am at the moment with my redesign series is that it's a fun prompt challenge, right? It's like one of those um, prompt generators where you come up with random like words or prompts and then you just make a story or a character based off of it. And I feel a bit better as well. I should have listened to you guys a bit sooner about making the characters their own thing. I just didn't want to sort of make it a bigger deal than it was. But it is just recently becoming more of an issue for me personally. I basically had an identity crisis over it. So yeah, I think this is probably the best solution is to just branch off do my own thing, offer alternative media around the yandere genre and dive into it in a way that I see fit. Because obviously, you guys know that for my redesigns, I focus a lot on mental health, uh, the stigma around mental health in Japan, and just interpersonal relationships in general. Like, I don't, it's not necessarily a brutal murder game where you just kill people and blah 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 it's more about how characters interact with each other and how they help each other grow and how they deal with interpersonal struggles you know like uh, the struggles that they face in their daily lives and i think it's a lot easier for me to do that as well if i just see these characters as my own OCs instead of making <laughs> free fan art for this guy that I don't like. So yeah, that's basically the update uh, regarding my redesigns. Since you guys also, well, a lot of you subscribe to me for my commentary and my insight on art and stories and things like that. So I kind of want to try and apply that to other things. And I've already got ideas. I've pitched some of them to you and you all seem really excited for it. Um, I proposed the idea of maybe making my own Pokemon region. Or recently I've started thinking about making my own Resident Evil based game. Just because uh, Resident Evil 8... I thought popped off so much because it's such a smart move for the developers to actually incorporate like traditional western monsters into the game using the logic of Resident Evil. So I want to do the same thing but um, with mythical creatures from my culture because I think there's a lot that we could explore and create some really unique monster designs. I've never designed monsters before so that would be really fun for me. And if you guys are interested in that, definitely stick around, comment nice things because I'm a very anxious person. And I need a lot of reassurance, as all my friends would be able to tell you. So yeah, uh, follow me on all my social media. Check out my comic, which I severely need to update, because that would make me really happy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>